Ahead of Malaysia's GE15 next month, political parties in the country are scrambling to put forth a strong list of candidates to garner votes. It's also given rise to some divisions within at least one political party. A new candidate fielded by opposition party Kaadilan Ratya on Wednesday has sparked controversy, just as the party is scheduled to announce its list of candidates this hour. Well, for more, CNA's Ofiva Arifin joins us live from Ampang, Selangor. That's where Malaysia's opposition party, Kaadilan Raya, is preparing to announce their candidates very soon. Afifa, good evening. There, there is undoubtedly a sense of excitement there tonight. What can we expect? <laughs> That's right, Don. So all of the PKR supporters will be gathering here at this field in Ampang tonight. The supporters are still streaming in because the program is set to start at 8.30. And they're all here uh, to witness the party's leadership announcing the slate of candidates that it proposes to represent Pakatan Harapan in the upcoming general election. Now, this is a very interesting lo choice of location for them to hold the announcement in because this is in the Ampang seat, which is also known as a traitor seat because the incumbent here is a caretaker Minister Zoraida Kamarudin. She's a long-term PKR member who has held this seat since 2008. But she was also one of the 11, you know, who left the party and together Bersatu left the Pakatan Harapan coalition back in 2020. That's known as the Sheraton move that really triggered the political turmoil that Malaysia uh, is currently facing. So tonight's announcement is something that everyone is keenly watching because people want to know who will be contesting where. There has been a lot of rumours and talks that certain high-profile PKR you know, members will could be moving from their incumbent seats uh, to contest in this traitor seat to try and win it back uh, for PKR. The party has said that it wants to defend all of the 47 seats which it won in the last elections. But so far, no names have been uh, announced or confirmed just yet. The only name that has been officially confirmed is that of the PKR President Anwar Ibrahim, who has said he will be contesting in the Tambun seat in Perak. Now, Pakatan Harapan is actually the first coalition that has begun announcing its slate of candidates. We also saw the uh, other component party, DAP, announcing its candidates in batches over the last couple of days. So really, you know, all eyes from the party supporters, members of the public, and even I'm sure, you know, the other rival coalitions like Barisan Nasional and Prikata Nasional will be keenly watching the names and the people who will be announced as the party's candidates here later tonight. As we are, Afifa, and while we wait for that list of uh, uh, candidates to be announced, there is some disagreement within the party over the fielding of a candidate who joined PKR uh, evidently just about two weeks ago. Uh, is the issue of brand new candidates going to be a growing problem for the party? Well, definitely that has been a growing issue. There has been a lot of dissent and disagreement among certain factions within the party over the leadership's choice of who they want to feel or the names that have been talked about, about who they in, indeed feel in the upcoming uh, general elections. Earlier this week, we saw that PKR President Anwar Ibrahim announced, you know, seven fresh faces to uh, their slate of candidates. And these people comprise of community leaders, industry leaders, academics and, and professionals. And he said this was a move away from from their usual type of candidates. We know that PKR has opened its candidacy to anyone. Anyone is able to apply as a candidate and they don't even need to be a member of the party. The uh, party's deputy president, Rafizi Ramli, who's also the election director, said this move is to bring in more diverse candidates and it's a response to the public's call uh, to have more competent individuals from various backgrounds and also a move from party hierarchy and party politics. So we'll have to see how the party leadership manages all of that. But again, at the end of the day, you know, as with all the political parties here in Malaysia, the decision on who gets to be fielded as candidates lies entirely with the party's leadership. All right, Afifa, thank you for that update. Afifa Arif in there, live from Ampang, Selangor.